That was a weird change of pace for the music. You're, you're just trying to make this game into something it's not. This isn't Silent Hill, this is Fatal Frame. Yeah, but I was just, you know... Two entirely different... Why does the music change only when I stand in this specific spot? You notice that? You know, collision boxes and code. We'll talk to Miku. <laughs> but she is not in here now, she is. Hey! I can't sleep either. Oh yeah, she uh, connection to the photo of those tattoos, which for some reason Miku does not recognize, even though she took the picture. You're going on about that too much. This Calm combination down. of Snake and Holly and the tattoo is primarily found in northeastern Japan. This design is chronicled in the old northeastern Japanese folktale Tattoo Maiden. A girl loses her lover, and before he fades from her memory completely, she takes the pain of her remaining love and abuse it in a holly tattoo. Yet the girl falls in love once more, again she loses her lover. She engraves a tattoo of her love into her body again. This time she engraves a divine snake so the lover spirit will arrive safely at the place of the gods. As the girl repeats love and loss, her skin grows filled with tattoos. She cannot tolerate the pain of the tattoos, and it, makes it takes its toll on her sanity. Meanwhile, her heart is eaten by the snake engraved in her soul. This legend is widely known on the plains, but de depending on the region, slight differences appear. In the mountains, the following changes can be found in the story. This is called the Tattoo Master. The girl who lost her lover goes to the Mountain Master to leave her pain to confide in her. Uh, on hearing of the girl's pains, the Master engraves the snake and holly on her own body and assumes the pain. The villagers, hearing of this, visit the master one after another to relieve their pain as well. Eventually, the master's entire body is covered with tattoos. She, who took on so many pains, gets trapped in sleep from the pain of the engraved tattoos and cannot wake. Finally, she is eaten by the tattooed snake. The story has one more version, this with an even more tragic ending. It is likely a story designed to teach a lesson. Tattooed Master 2. The master covered in tattoos goes as far as... A to tattoo Holly in her eyes. Then her tattooed eyes turn into a mirror, and the pain engraved on the master are repelled back to the people who engraved them. In the end, every last person is eaten by the snake. The part about turning to mirror may come from how snake eyes were traditionally thought to resemble mirrors. Given the change in the story, it appears that when the tattoo master, legend of the mountain, spreads the plains, it became more fable-like. The story, with its priestess-like element of the master, was corrupted into a city girl's foolish love story. As far as the meaning of the snake and holly tattoo in this folktale, the holly tree represents the pain of love for the dead and the pains of the heart. The snake is employed here in the divine sense that its, important seem, that its import seems to be tied into the love and pathos, pathos for the dead that devours those, including the girl and the master. Thanks, so hold on to it. Tell me about your brother. <laughs> Ditto. Yeah, I'm fine. I got this tattoo. I was wondering if you could research this photo of the two girls. Sweet. And not the other one? Not the other one. Okay. If we have multiple photos, they'll do it all She'll, at once. Yeah, do them all at once. Alright, she's repeating. It's raining again. Well, you gotta use room. You gotta tell me about before you. Look, his photo's right here. But anyway, we gotta go to use room to figure out about the guy who was in the closet, apparently. <laughs> you would know about that. It's in his bookshelf. Oh, I guess we're just going to have that attic. photograph. It's in the attic. It's definitely in the attic. Gotta go check up in that attic. Yep, worth it. Well, I guess we'll go to sleep again. I don't think we have anything else to check out.
That bathroom scene was oddly placed. <sighs> you wanted ghostly scares, the game tries to give it to you, and you're not satisfied. I am not. I am Miku. How how did you know? It's been raining again. <laughs> I just wanted to pet the kitty. But uh you yell at the I'm game not gonna be giving not that giving you ghostly scares, and you yell at the game for giving you ghostly scares that are just ghostly scares when you wanted ghostly scares. Yeah, but it was all a cutscene, that's the thing. Like it was planned. Yes. I Everything in this game is in fact planned. No, I don't. I won't. I don't mean planned, but it's like <laughs> even the random encounters are somewhere. Wait, there planned. is a ghost somewhere. I saw the film change. Is it in the closet? Yes. Uh, it's in the closet. It's not my closet. <gasps> oh! <laughs> it was it's under my closet. bed. It was under my bed. I stepped on you a say, hand. You say is your point to an empty bed? Yes. Yeah, totally under there. It was a hand. I stepped on it. You saw that, right? Now we don't have any, any of the tapes. So I sat down right where the hand was. Alright, we're. I think we're good to go now. So, we're now on hour nine. Assuming that it is twelve hours, that means we've got... Three more hours to go. And if the hours have been anything as short as the last couple ones, this is gonna be. Well, this is the family master and stuff. Do you think we're playing as Miku again all of a sudden? That'd be weird. Honestly, the only person who I know that we have a certain goal with right now is Kay. No, we're playing as Ray. Okay. The Unleashing, Hour 9. Kay is I mean, the only yeah, one where we have a specific goal. goal that I could think of. Because he's goal after is Mio. To push things. <laughs> His goal is to push things. Miku is to crawl into very tiny spaces. And Ray is the ability to be the main character, I guess. Also, I like the way the camera is. <laughs> what do you mean? It's like all black and white. Oh. I was about to say, I mean, I guess that's a good camera angle. Yes. Personally, I'm a fan of the 180 camera angle. No, this reminds me of the beginning of the game, remember? Like in the dream sequence? Yeah. Before the dream? <laughs> it's almost like every Fatal Frame game starts off with like some sort of black oh. and white segment. Hi, lady. What's up? Oh, are you going to be mad because that's the same ghost we took a picture of like, two minutes into the game? That wasn't the same one. That, But we can't go down this hallway. Again, because I'm pretty sure that's the same hallway that we took a picture of the ghost. No, the, that hall... Well, oh, yeah, come on. Be mad at all the other ghosts, but that one specifically... I believe it was this no hallway that we couldn't with. go down. Which, once again, there is a ghost here. It probably but, was like that for every door, you just didn't check the other ones. I mean, probably, but I was going to make the comment... We can't go down that way either. When we passed in front of the door at the beginning of the game, she was, like, beckoning down the hallway, and then when I tried, I couldn't go down it, which is what made me mad. Oh, we're through... We're going through doors. This must not be open. Oh, yeah, this is where we left off. No, oh, thank you. And that's why they didn't eat any of those holes. Right. Also, there's the guy with the knife from the beginning of the game. Yeah, you're probably right. He's got a butcher knife. Are you glad you finally got an explanation for this random ghost chasing us with a knife? His, his whole story. You can't go he, see the priestess. His, his whole story? He has a knife. He's got a knife. You want to fight? Oh, come on. That was definitely a hit. Don't even with me right now. We have a stone mirror. I don't really want to use this, but I will. Is 
It sounded like there were two of them for a moment there. He's a ghost. He has echoes. Two! Three! Uh, uh, uh. Nah, not two. Not your best combo by any means. Oh, there it is. Is that the hallway with the uh, stains on it? The human stains? Not sure, to be honest. I think it might be. I guess we can go there and check. It'll be the first place I check. Assuming that we have to go and check. Well, you see, remember when we were playing as Miku and she made the comment? Even though we know that we unlocked the door as Rei, she said that there was still a force keeping it shut. Yeah, but that's because we hadn't opened it yet. Mm-hmm. But she was making the comment, hey... Even though it looks like it should open, it won't. Yeah, middle of the door is an old paper doll half unraveled now. It's still not broken. That's the comment she made. It looks like the seal isn't broken on it. Okay, we can definitely save now. The first room I'm definitely going to check is the one with the stains on it. Yep. So that's going to be this um this one i'm pretty sure the stained corridor i think we need to go to this room specifically specifically the like little square one in the middle yeah because it looked like he was staring at this door so from where we're at we just need to go straight down pretty much So we'll go from here, gotta go through this door. Blood! Oh wait, yeah, there's more blood now. Who knows why that's here all of a sudden again. It had previously been cleaned up, even in this scenario. Hadn't it? Like, we passed through it here It could be that Miku just can't see the blood. Ray can see the blood because that was relevant to her. Well, I was wanting to and say, like, drink. the... K the... also sees a lot of blood. Well, no, no, I was making the comment, like... I thought the last time we played as Ray, the blood was clean. No, it was when we were playing as Miku. We noticed that the blood was clean. Oh! I think it Something was. fell from the ceiling. A lot of air fell from the ceiling. Well, I mean, this will clear it up. Yeah, the, the, all that blood, so it's all the same blood. Yeah, I think we were just playing this Ray at the time. Okay. So, from here, we're gonna go through this door. I think it's this room. And we're not technically under attack. I think it's... Yeah, exactly. You say we're not technically under attack, but I'm pretty sure we're, we're gonna, gonna have technically... To fight him. We're going to technically be under attack here in a couple. Oh, it's about time we finally did something with this door. Right? Oh, he just had to go to the bathroom! That's it! Honestly, that sounds like a World of Warcraft death scream. Just a generic death scream. Yeah. <sighs> like you killed a man, and he's like, Wah, wah, wah. Well, I see. Oh, he killed himself. I see now. Well, technically, we were not under attack. <laughs> there we go. Ten bucks says he gets up, and now we're under attack. He's a ghost. You're overthinking things. Just leave. I'm sure. Actually. <laughs> if you're not gonna get up, then I'm gonna go over and. No, that was part of the floor. floor. We were used at one time. Maybe they were used to build this house. Strangely shaped carpentry tools. Map, Map with, with a mark. mark. 
When the Shrine of the Rift fails to stop destruction, build the Shrine of Sleep and pray for the priestess to slumber. To keep the Rift from opening into the outside world, the final command must be driven in where the Shrine of the Rift and the Shrine of Sleep connect. Now he's going to attack us. Switch function. Let's not actually read anything about the switch function. Look, we probably won't use it. There's no response. Alright. I don't... Hmm. Come on, you're overthinking it. This is the fatal frame, not silent hope. Hmm. I mean, yeah, I guess. I mean, come on. You get absurdly bad whenever they reuse the same ghost, but... <laughs> they yeah, but like... it's, they reuse the same ghost, and then when you think it's going to be a scare... Nope. He's just sitting there. You keep people on the edge. You don't just do what you think they're going to do. No, but now, now we know if it's something new, probably nothing's going to happen. Because they're going to reuse the hammer girl again for the third time. Sure. Just think about it this way. The, all the rain sound is actually on loop, and they use the same rain sound over and over again. Yes. You know, it's I'm not, aware. It's not a 200-hour rain MP3. I mean, I'd be okay if it was, though. They it's like a to, $60 game, because they had to spend $50 it was, on rain sound All soundtrack. of it was rain. Oh. Okay, I don't know how you managed to get that, but okay. Skill. No, that was that was really just line mark. You pressed the button and the game decided it was okay. Well that's usually how it works. No, no, it's really not how it usually works. I mean I click a button and the game goes, eh, I'll give it to you. <laughs> usually you click the button and the game's like, oh you missed. That's accurate. Ow. He did. Also, yeah, he never went into a fatal frame mode. He did a bit of damage. Man, if only we knew how to use Switch. I don't think that would help us. You don't even know what Switch does. I don't know how to use any of the power-ups, to be completely honest. We could be breezing through the game right now using power-ups, but you're just like, nah, type 14 film will probably solve all our issues. <laughs> It probably will. See, I got him. We just I clicked R1 this time. Maybe he used, like, boost. <laughs> it did, like, 5,000 damage in one hit. No, because she doesn't have boost, remember? Yeah, that's, that's true. That's K's thing. Only K can use boost. Because they don't share the same camera, obviously. Yeah, they don't. Three, three He's different... got a boost of spirits because he has no <laughs> spiritual power. <laughs> three different camera obscuras. It's just three cameras, three dreams, three one obscuras. Mansion. Three mansions, it's just... No. <laughs> that would explain why some forced doors are shut. There's oh, we're back, we're back to this. Okay. They're running low on development funds. <laughs> they were they just like, we gotta color. get a lot of black and white <laughs> screens. We couldn't afford color. The color printer was out of ink. <laughs> All of this was just hand animated, you know? Hey, if it was, you know, get on them. I think we're after K. The oh, I did not see those two ladies. I think we're dead. I think we're gonna wake up. Yep. It's raining again. <laughs> it's always raining here. Now, come on, be what completely these honest times, with me. One of these times we're gonna wake oh, up. Oh, new cutscene. Oh no, it's almost reached our... Oh, it's on our thighs now. It, well, more like our... Yeah, they're, they're almost to the ankles. Think about it, we're almost dead. We're almost a dead dead lady yeah, in the 20s. Yeah, but to be fair, we've almost been dead this entire game with the amount of photos you keep missing. Ha. That's because every single time I hand you the controller, you're... And you, like, give it back. After like 30 minutes of me walking around because you give the controller to me when you're lost, <laughs> you're like, I don't know what to do. Here, you play. Then I can make fun of you while you did wander around aimlessly. No, there was a couple times where you I gave the, the controller, controller to me because you didn't want to play as K. 
<laughs> no, because I did that whole K bit by myself. No, I offered you didn't. It. You gave me the controller no, once. this one. No, yeah, that one. Yeah, the whole three rooms. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I know. I'm impressed. Playing as K is that bad. That... I didn't even hide once. Get off my get off my back now because you you were giving me so much crap about how much I hid in the first scenario. It's not that I was it's not that I was yelling at you for hiding. I was yelling at you for hiding when there wasn't even a ghost in the room. There was. You didn't see it. Oh you no, the tattooed lady tablet. is coming after me. Actually, no. The camera just makes lights up when it gets near the uh, record player, and we miss that entire unknown video. Nope, not Miku. It's Shoshia uh, It's raining again. Takigawa. <laughs> Hangs up. It's raining again. Let me out, huh? Well, here, let me open up my shower. Um, oh, phone ringing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Amakura. Did you have that dream again? Uh, wait, that's, uh... Did you have that dream again today? Yes. Did we ever tell him about the dream? I think we should go check out the abandoned house one more time. We might be able to find something out. Well, wait, 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 wait. He knows that we know about the dream. He's been sending letters to us talking about said dream. We told him to continue research on said dreams. And we know for a fact he's having said dreams because he's told us he's having said dreams. Okay, yes. What are you I, going on about? <laughs> I was making the call about how did he know we were having the dream. Didn't we ask him? We asked him to keep researching about it. We never mentioned that we were having the dream. She just asked to continue his research on the matter of sleep. Sure. I think, yeah. I think this is a ghost. Yeah, okay. I'll look <laughs> over the local legend <laughs> the of the story. The fact that the audio clips are still playing in the background is really concerning. Just what happened in that manner? Books describe it as an engraving shrine. Maybe if we can find the information we have, something might come to light. I think the game glitched, to be honest. Yeah, maybe. I don't think that sound clip is supposed to still be playing. And it's night. So she didn't react at all to the fact that there was still screaming on the other end. Oh. Hello. Do you want some tea? Yeah. Let's go downstairs and get some tea. It's a shame because your tea is haunted. <laughs> well, it's sometimes it's gonna be unsweetened. Sometimes it is sweetened. You'll oh, never know. Is awake. Hello. <laughs> oh, I thought she <laughs> looked up at us and was like, "Not worth my time." <laughs> it's raining again. All right, we have information. Here you go, Ray. I thought the festival was similar to that ceremony, like photo with the twins. Uh, some of the villages in the mountain region practice a folk region rite that defies religion, religion rite. Yep, that defies twin born in the village as priestesses. It is called the twin ceremony. When twins born in the village reach a certain age, most commonly 15 years old, they are dressed in white. Then, as priestesses, they are joined by a red cord and conduct a seance. This red cord is said to represent the twins as one person, and in the region. It it is a custom to believe that when the twins become one, they have the power of the gods. This rite is supposed to protect the village from calamity, and it also is suppo supposed to bless them with a bountiful harvest. She's having a rough time. Hey, Miku, you're all right. Really yep, good. she's okay. Hey girl, it's alright. We're gonna go investigate the house and then uh, I'll let you get to sleep. I have to go on my every, every morning and night ritual of investigating the entire house for ghosts. Don't she worry. probably thinks like we're, Don't we're worry, suspicious of her like normal. stealing something. We're just sitting there like, hmm, I gotta make sure Miku has not like... <laughs> <laughs> gotta go into the attic. <laughs> Miku... Miku hasn't stolen that box in the attic. Gotta make sure. I keep finding weird old undeveloped film in newsroom. Gotta develop it and ask it to research. <laughs> One of these times, this attic's gonna be important again. You know, this attic wasn't important to begin with because we found a fucking radio that we have yet to use. It's probably like sitting right there. 
you know, I don't think that's it, but I do think we should probably use it eventually. No, but like, it ever says since we, can't we got use it. it from the menu, which means we have to use it somewhere else. We've had it in our our, our inventory ever we since that time. Reacts to special stones, but we don't have any stones. Now I've heard uh, that you have to play the game twice to get the good full experience, right? Oh, we're not getting the full experience. No, we're not, but. I mean, off screen, I'll probably get the full experience. <laughs> the full experience. There's gonna be some ghostly happenings in the house during the full experience. Well, oh. That's just Miku. Come down. Okay. <laughs> See, seriously, <laughs> calm down. Look, I saw a shoe. Come on. And I was just Come like, on, dude, that's just oh. Miku. The, but the music changed, and there was the shadow, and I saw a shoe. <laughs> I was just like, oh, haunted shoe, not haunted tea kettle. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Miku, you're a ghost. I'm gonna take pictures of you. I take pictures of Miku. You know, if you were a ghost, it would really backfire on you if you were really into selfies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's time to take a selfie with the hey, camera obscure. Hey. Ah. Smile. I'll save that one for later. That would have been really funny if the game was just like 100 points. <laughs> she stumbled backwards. <gasps> Kitty. Oh, he's sleeping. The cat is the tattoo lady all along. <laughs> Mr. Whiskers, how could you? He's the one sneaking into your room at night. Oh yeah, we were making some tea. He was that paw that came out from underneath my bed. The cat sneaks into your room at night and takes like a permanent marker and draws this huge tattoo on you. But it's like invisible ink, so it goes away after you wake up. You only barely <gasps> see it. Hands. So what? Oh! Um, oh, oh! Oh, that is definitely oh, someone. Oh! Look, you're just looking through a window to someone else's apartment. Calm down. They just really had fun with some ketchup. There's a lot of ketchup. Well, we've cleaned it up now. Yes. Also, I told you something would happen in that window. I was calling it this entire game. What? Something scary happened in a bathroom in a horror game? Not even. I don't think I, I deserve... That never happens. This, this kind of, like, sass that you're giving me at the moment. Because it's always been, like, you saying everything that I mention is bullshit. <laughs> well, you also said there was a haunted shoe and it ended up being the only other person in the house. Surprise, surprise. In the spot that she usually stands in. If a little bit to the right. Well, like, usually if she's down here, she's sitting on the couch. Which is why I was, you know. She blinked out. Are you gonna, are you gonna yell at her for blinking out and standing next to her own window? I mean, come on. I... She wants to listen to the rain. It's raining again. That's uh, why she got I closer to the rain. cannot. You just, you just walk around the couch. Uh, yeah. Like, like a smart person instead of trying to burst your way faster. Hey, Miku, this is my house. Hey, and I, I know there's a huge open, like, little pathway for me to get to the staircase here, but I'm gonna push past you because I'm the owner of this house. This is my house. You rely on me. Bless me, jeez. It'd be really a... Like, in all these horror movies, like, you know, in The Grudge or in, uh, you know, uh, the ring, and in like Fatal Frame, uh -huh. there's always ghosts, ghostly stuff happening, right? Yeah. But like, what if during the ghostly stuff, like afterwards, their day gets even worse, and they get like robbed or something? Like someone breaks the house with a gun, and she's like, "Oh no, you're not a ghost. The camera obscure will work on you." <laughs> I guess I'll just have to be robbed then. <laughs> I don't carry around any weapons. I thought this would just be fine. What are the chances?